This is really hard to believe, but it comes from the World Meteorological Organization. I uh, checked with my colleague in Australia, Andrew Glickson, uh, a paleoclimatologist, and he said, oh yes. He said, the atmospheric carbon dioxide is accelerating so fast, it's never ever in the history of the atmosphere increased at this rate. Um, uh, that's the 800,000 year ice core data. You can see where we are on CO2, way above that 800,000 year limit. You know, each of these things you can take, each, any of them, and you know that we're in a dire, dire emergency, right? You can look at the 800,000 year ice core on CO2, you can look at the CO2 from 1750, and the message is the same. Um, uh, what I'm trying to do is, is present it over and over and over. Um, uh, so that I, I'm trying to hit the corporations and uh, the politicians on the head is what I'm trying to do. Over and over and over. Right? You gotta stop doing this, you guys. This is crazy. It's evil. Now, there was a particular um, uh, demonstration of uh, criminal evil at the last uh, climate conference in Poland. The media were on it right away. We had um, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Russia, and the United States sabotaging that uh, conference. What they did was that the uh, reports by the IPCC, one of the strengths, great strengths of those reports are that they're agreed to, examined and agreed to by every world government. They're not just agreed to by the scientists. So they, have, they are totally authoritative. The, every single government in the world um, examines and approves of the reports. So that report had been approved. But these damn countries, oil producers, blocked it being filed, being tabled at the conference, which is outrageous in the extreme. And that's, uh, that proves they're planet killers. That proves they're planet killers. It really, really does. And it also proves that they have no intention of doing anything to slow down emissions. These, the investment banks and the fossil fuel corporations, Michael Mann very appropriately said the new axis of evil, I stand with him on that one. Um, uh, what they're doing is planning to burn every last bit of fossil fuel that they can get. It's complete criminal insanity. I know that James Hansen over some years ago suspected that this was going on. You know, and unfortunately, he's been proved right now. So um, that's just my comment on these mad power leaders destroying our sacred earth. This earth is, is sacred. Every single um, uh, organized religion recognizes in its scriptures that earth is sacred. That's true, it's a fact. Um, uh, <coughs> Patriarch Bartholomew of the Eastern Orthodox Church and now Pope Francis of the Catholic Church. They both made statements over and over that continuing with climate change is a sin against God and is a great evil. Extreme heat. Australia right now is the hottest place on the planet. We're looking at from inconvenient truth to painful truth. It is hell in Australia right now. On their Australia Day, which is day before yesterday or something, six degrees hotter than the same day last year. And you see I've put Australia's hottest January on record again. Every couple of years, Australia is looking like that at this time of year in their summer and another record. Animals are dying all over the place. Cattle, oh, Australia's maybe towards the end of a multi-year drought as well. So there's temperatures and it, it 
practically got to 50 degrees C in Australia. So you can see that whole Australian continent practically baking. So this is the research that shows accelerating ocean heat that I've shown you before. Very, very important because this is what causes ocean deoxygenation as well, of course, as contributing towards the death of the coral reefs. Going back to Australia and the Great Barrier Reef, um, we've lost the Great Barrier Reef. We've lost all the warm water coral reefs. And it's something to grieve over, and it's something to tell people, how much more do we want to lose? Hmm? How much more do we want to lose? How much more do you want to allow your leaders, your politicians, your corrupt politicians and governments to get away with, right? And, and leave our children, all today's children, with a planet not worth living in, frankly. Be so damaged, so wrecked. This year, also, research both ice sheets are melting at an accelerating rate. There's the Greenland ice sheet on the top, and there's the Antarctic ice sheet on the bottom. Um, I can now say everything is accelerating. I, I couldn't quite say that before because I hadn't got this Antarctic ice sheet data. Um, uh, Greenland, it's melting, losing ice four times faster in the, in the past 15 years. Antarctic, six times faster in the past 40 years. Um, if, if, if this doesn't show that we are in a dire emergency, um, nothing does, but the fact is everything shows we're in a dire emergency. And we're in a dire Earth emergency because climate disruption and ocean disruption is impacting on top of the sixth mass extinction which we've known about for years, and which is accelerating. So just doing a climate change assessment by itself, you have to take everything in. You have to do a holistic environmental health assessment. You have to take in the whole planet, OK? Because climate disruption has just started to increase the rate of extinction of the six mass extinctions, just started to do that. Um, the paper in 2007 that got some uh, publicity from the fourth assessment report said that by mid-century, um, uh, assuming that the uh, deforestation continued at the same rate, by mid-century, climate change would be the leading cause of species extinction. And that, that, that's just horrific to even consider. So, um, when we talk about climate disruption, um, we, we always need to link it with a six mass extinction. Uh, as it is, we're leaving our children with a greatly impoverished planet. Um, uh, now, if we give the planet a chance, it'll come back, you know, hundreds of years, but it will. So we have to give the planet a chance, we have to give our children a chance, and our politicians and the corporations and the investment banks, uh, they're waging a war against us is what they're doing. Right? They're waging a war against the future. And um, people are starting to fight back.